Hi comic book fans and welcome to another suddenlycomics.com video uh, being filmed in Edinburgh. I'm in Edinburgh for the um, for the uh, Edinburgh Fringe uh, which uh, I worked at. I first came here when I was 18 so that's 45 years ago. So <laughs> I haven't been every year for 45 years. Uh, there was a gap about 20 years <laughs> when uh, kids were around and I was working. But uh, I have been coming for the last four or five years. Uh, there was, we missed one year due to COVID. Anyway, uh, so why am I making this video today? Well, I'm making it because um, I found a great shop in Edinburgh called Estate 77. Um, they've got some, a good collection of uh, uh, comics, um, some cheap ones, uh, some medium priced ones, um, and I'm gonna show you those. So all these books, all these comics I'm gonna show you now, uh, were either um, three or three, four or five pounds. Okay, so nothing heavily expensive, but some really nice books. So I really recommend the State Seventy Seven in Edinburgh. You can't tell from the window that it's a comic shop because it does lots of other sort of collectibles, uh, vinyl, um, bric-a-brac, all sorts of stuff. You can spend quite a bit of time in there having a nice browse around. Uh, really nice lady behind the counter who I had a good chat with about the fringe um, and comics so uh, I may go back and do a um, do an interview uh, with them uh, and show you around the shop uh, but we'll see okay so here we go these are my pickups from estate 77 in Edinburgh first of all some fantastic um, Lois Lane Superman's Girlfriend covers. I just love these. I love these uh, Lois Lane covers. Um, here we go. This is Lois Lane number 66 in pretty good condition. I mean, none of these are in uh, nine plus. They're all mid grades, low to mid grade. Um, look at this. <laughs> this is just out. I mean, so many of these Lois Lane covers are just weird. You know, so in this one, she seems to have got monster feet. <laughs> Featuring Lois Lane, they call me the cat. Really? I've never seen a cat with green legs with teeth on. Anyway, uh, here we go. This next one, I've already got a copy of this, but this is actually in better condition than the one I'd got. And I just love it. It is such a weird, weird cover. Okay, <laughs> so this, this is Lois Lane, number 73. Um, we've got and it's a bondage cover um, with whipping <laughs> I think they got away with this because the put this thing being whipped is a, is not Superman it's some sort of puppet uh, it's, but Superman's here is tied up to this bench um, I've, I've avoided reading this because I don't really want to know what's going on <laughs> this is a fantastic cover and this is in better condition than the other one I've got uh, so I've upgraded on this one um, right, this next one is fantastic. I've never seen this cover before. Um, I think this is probably the first time we see um, Lois Lane in a swim in a cougar swimsuit. Well, what about cheetah swimsuit? Here we go. Look at that! Absolutely cracking cover. And this one is in pretty good shape. Um, the staples are a bit rusted, but it's probably a five o five five something like that. Um, the demon in the bottle and look at that cracking uh, Lois Lane in a bikini uh, next up we've got uh, Lois Lane number 81 this is not in as good condition but it's not bad as I say most of these were four or five pounds and then finally, we've got uh, Lois Lane 100. I've checked this up. This is worth a bit. Um, there we go. And Lois Lane is being accused of having murdered Lana Lang. And uh, the lie detector uh, suggests that she did. Mmm. Naughty Lois. Okay. <laughs> Love those Lois Lane covers. Right. This is all, virtually all DC goodness. There are a couple of marvels at the back of this, but... Um, these are all DCs. Look at this one. Um, this is Adventure Comics featuring Superboy and the Legion of Superheroes. And um, oh dear, um, Superboy is deflecting the beams of these aliens 
um, and he's deflected them onto uh, Matter Eater Lad. Now, <laughs> if you've never heard of Matter Eater Lad, what is his superpower? His superpower is he can eat anything. <laughs> okay. Um, suppose that's useful if you go for a really hot curry um, or if you need to unlock your bike and it's uh, you've lost the key <laughs> yeah there we go matter eater lad uh, right next up oh this is a good one this is another adventure comics 354 and we've got a number of first appearances on here um, right now I made the mistake of um, of being a bit sarcastic about Ferro Lad um, in, a, in a video I showed recently, and I got told off by the grey man who said, Ferro, Ferro Lad saves the universe. And indeed, these are statues to people who've died in the service, service of the, um, of, in the service of uh, the Legionnaires. And here we've got, this is um, Ferro Lad who gave his life for the universe. Okay, but I think some of these others, that it's actually their first appearance. Whether they ever appear again, I don't know. So I think this is the first cover appearance of Shadow Woman, uh, Reflecto, uh, Reflecto is there, and Chemical King. Um, so a whole bunch of uh, first cover appearances. Now, whether this counts as cover appearances, because in, in, they're not really them, I think they're statues that have been created. So, first mention of, I don't know, anyway, great cover. Uh, here we go, Adventure Comics uh, number 360. And we've got uh, Superboy, Mon L, and Ultra Boy um, being forced to uh, mine diamonds. There we go. Okay, another Adventure Comics. This one is 363, Black Day for the Legion. And then this one's a really great one. Um, it's got this legion of super pets gone rogue. So super pets are attacking their owners. Uh, we've got Comet, the horse. Crypto, the dog, of course, who's been in the film recently. I don't think, I don't think Comet, the horse, was in the film. Uh, we've also got, I think it's Beppo, the monkey. Uh, I don't think the monkey got into the film either. And also down here is this cat. I can't remember the name of the cat. I'm sure somebody would remind me what the cat is called. Uh, but uh, yeah, to check that, to check this one up on Go Collect. It's worth a few quid. Uh, a bit more than I paid for it. I think I paid five pounds for that. Okay, another Adventure Comics. Adventure Comics 370. Um, the Devil's Jewelry. Okay, now then. UDC fans and particularly Grey Man, who are these three women down here? Um, I haven't read this yet, so I'm not sure who they are. I'm sure Grey Man can tell me who those three are or any other DC guru. Right, uh, now we've got some super friends. I've never bought a super friends before, but they had them here. You know, three, these were three or four pounds each. Um, I don't quite like the covers. This is Super Friends number 14. Um, and this, uh, I paid, I think I paid four pounds for this one, uh, but it's actually got the origin of this pair down here. Uh, the Wonder Twins, um, who got a bit hot recently because there was some sort of story about a DC um, series or film or something. I don't think it'll happen. Uh, now they've canceled Batgirl. I can't see them making a film about these two, uh, who nobody's ever heard of. Um, so there we go. Uh, another Super Friends. Um, that's number 16. Yeah, number 16. Uh, yeah, and here we've got uh, the Wonder Twins appearing on the cover, and they seem to have gone bad. Yeah, and their names are Zan and Jaina. Yeah, there we go. The Wonder Twins, they appear to be poisoning off all their um, colleagues. Another Super Friends one, this with some sort of puppet master on it. Another Super Friends, this one's really good. Okay, I think I can name the five, the five baddies down here. Um, 
that could be a couple of couple of different characters, but I think we've got Man Bat, Solomon Grundy, Etrigan the Demon, um, and uh, Superman Bizarro. Now, whether that is Glob um, or not, I don't know. Okay. Um, and we've got a couple of action comics. This one's nice. Love it. We, we know we're in the 60s because of this um, go go checkerboard uh, trade press. Uh, that's 351 and 355. Again, a really nice um, Superman cover here. And he's sweating. Yeah, so one of his superpowers um, is that he, is, <laughs> he hasn't got is the no sweat superpower, uh, which. Um, Prince Andrew has. <laughs> Just gonna swing around on the right. Um, so somebody is moving their motorhome. Yeah, so I'm in a caravan motorhome park um, in Edinburgh. Uh, let's pick this one up, Spider Man. Marvel team up, so we've got a Marvel one here, uh, Spider-Man and um, Man-Thing. Uh, an early Thor, it's in really ropey condition, um, but Thor 180, really nice cover. Uh, it's in a 2.0, 2.5, um, but a nice early Thor. I just picked this one up because I don't collect these, but it's in a really good condition. It's ROM number two. I did check out the price of this. I got this for three pounds. Um, it's worth more than that. Uh, this is in, I don't know, five, four, five, something like that. Uh, then there was a few Fantastic Fours. I've probably got some of these. The problem is now I've now got so many Fantastic Fours. Um, trying to remember which ones I have and haven't got is a bit tricky, but I picked a couple up. Um, this one, Fantastic Four 169, and it's a pens copy, and it's in pretty decent condition. Um, picks up this one, 339 with Thor on it. Again, pretty decent neck, four quid I think. And uh, picked up a thing at number seven, haven't got this one. Nice uh, Ben Grimm cover there. And then finally, I uh, picked this one up. I think this was a couple of quid, actually. I can't remember if I've got this one or not, but for a couple of quid, uh, Silver Surfer number 12. There you go, comic fans. Those are my pickups from uh, Estate 77 in Edinburgh. That's your lot. See you again soon.